Welcome to your four minute daily tarot. This is going to be for Thursday, March 14th. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Rachel, the owner of Reiki with Rachel, where I specialize in distance energy work and card readings. All right, so this is an interesting spread. Yesterday we got um, a lot of happy emotions, and this, and today seems a little more, a lot more serious actually. So Maybe if you gave yourself a bit of a break yesterday, today it's like back to business. <laughs> and the first card that comes out is the Fool in reverse. And then immediately after the Fool in reverse is the Emperor. And I'm feeling like you are stepping into your Emperor role. Now the Fool is naive. The Fool is young, like hasn't lived a lot of life yet. Whenever the Fool comes in reverse, it can mean several things. The main thing that I'm being drawn to on this full card that keeps catching my eye is this butterfly. I'm feeling like you transformed from the fool and you're transforming to this emperor. And you're like, okay, I'm ready. I am ready to lead. I'm ready for my next steps. I'm ready to just be secure in myself in all situations. I'm ready. We then get the three of C in reverse. Now we got the three of C upright yesterday, now it comes in reverse. So I asked for some clarification cards and I will show those to you and then we'll talk about everything. So the three of C is the three of cups in the traditional tarot. We then get the two of earth, which is the two of pentacles also in reverse. And the eight of sky, which is the eight of swords in reverse. So all of this together is talking about it's, you're not playing around today. You're just not. You're like, I know what I want to do. I'm going to get shit done. From, from who I know, I, from a place of conviction. Like, you know who you are. You know what you want to get done. And you're just not messing around with people today. Now, the two of earth in reverse is talking about coming back into balance. Because when the two of earth is upright, it's talking about being a little bit in balance. And it's encouraging you to get back in balance. So I'm feeling like something was out of balance in your life, out of whack in your life. And you're standing up for yourself. You're standing in your truth and you're honoring yourself. And the eight of sky or the eight of swords is talking about um, feeling stuck mentally. But what I'm seeing from this card is this dog is chasing away all those blackbirds. When I see a blackbird, that indicates to me the darkness of your mind, your shadow side, your ego, your doubts, and he's chasing them away. So again, you're like serious on your journey. You're like, nope, get out of here. Like, I'm not listening to you anymore. We're not doing this anymore. Y'all need to leave or else I'm going to bite you. And, and it's just like, this is part of your, your journey. This is part of your healing journey when you just need to stand in your own and not allow anything or anyone to take away from your power any longer. And whether that's your own mental thoughts, whether that is, you know, old belief systems that were force fed to you as a child, like you, you're not that child anymore. You're an adult. You're standing up for yourself. You know who you are and you know what you want. Now, let me show you the clarifying card. And this is courage. It takes courage to transform. You are transforming today and you're serious about it. This is no longer, you're not wavering any longer. You're serious about it and it's not easy, but you are ready. And if other people in your life don't align with it, then I'm feeling like you're at a point where you're like, that's cool. Like, I wish you the best, but I have to do me. Okay. I'm wishing you lots of love and many blessings today. Talk to you later.